Hey guys, sorry, I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago and I was like, oh, yeah, might as well record this video, <laughs> you know. Um, anyways, so, second haunted place on my list is Emerald's Navy House in Charleston, um, at the Charleston Navy Base. It was built in 1905 for the commissioner of Charleston's Navy Yard. It's a windowless building. There is a wild Okay. Wilderness. Wow, I cannot speak today. Okay, so there's the house, and there's a small building that's supposedly behind it that was known as the Dead House, where they stored dead bodies before they were buried in the cemetery. So that's creepy as fuck. No, no wonder there's... No wonder there are hauntings there. Um... Uh, it was closed down in 1996, um, due to a lot of, I guess, changes and it being so old and it not being needed anymore, it was closed down. It was also in the film The Notebook. Um, it, I guess it was either next to or it was called the Eternal Father of the Sea Chapel in that movie, and so that's what it's either next to or it was called. Um, I'm going to actually do two haunted places in this video because some of these there's not a lot of information about, and it just does not make good videos. Um, okay, so supposedly when you're there, you can see a small slave girl, um, in a clump of trees, um, beside the house. So that is supposedly what goes down in Charleston. Oops. Okay, third one. The Baynard Plantation, Hilton Head. I've been to Hilton Head. It's a very beautiful place. Uh, just not there. <laughs> um, okay, so this is actually a story that I read from people that had been there. They saw orbs to the, they saw so many orbs and there were so many of them that it was to the point where they could actually hear noises from these orbs, like footsteps in the woods. Supposedly, the ghost of Mr. Baynard followed the people home because they started feeling strange, hearing strange noises. They felt cold spots. They could feel somebody watching them. And their cat started going crazy. It would, like, stare off in, into, into a space where nobody was there. And it would start, uh, like, scratching and hissing and mewing at the spot. A little bit of history behind the place. It was built in 1793 by Captain Jack Stoney. Then it fell into the hands of the Baynard family in 1837, either by winning a poker game or acquiring it from the bank. I think the poker story is the true one because that's what everybody says. It's the real one. So I'm just going with that one. I, I don't know if it is or not, but hey. Um... William Boehner's ghost, apparently, you can see his ghost pretty much everywhere, but for the most part, he is seen at Zion Cemetery where he's buried, or no, that's not where he's buried, you can see him at Zion Cemetery and the Boehner Museum where he's actually buried. Also, people have seen his entire funeral procession at night. Well, I guess you can see his ghost at night, too, but yeah. That's just pretty weird. They also have a haunted hike that you can go on. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Another reason why people think his ghost haunts the place, other than the fact that he is buried there, is that he actually died in the Baynard Plantation house itself. It is now in complete ruins. Um... Uh, you can only see bits and pieces of the house foundation and slave homes that were in the back of the house. 
Um, another reason why they think he haunts the place today is that Union soldiers, after, um, before the Civil War ended, um, tried to rob his grave because they heard that there was gold and jewels inside of his grave. So they desecrated his grave and dug him up and found nothing. So, that was all just a hoax and... Yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> no, uh, the next one on my list, I'm pretty sure I'm going to, so this should be interesting. Um, so y'all have a good rest of your week, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow.